Han har väl inte blivit ännu då? Nej, jag vet. What's up YouTube? My name is uh, Simon. And I'm Benedicta. And this... Oh, is our Siberian Husky Sur. Which is actually a, still a puppy, even though she's very big. <laughs> And today we'll show you some uh, tips and tricks on how you can uh, travel cheap and smart. We'll discuss how you can fly business class for free and how you can half or uh, even totally remove the cost of transportation and accommodation. So let's get started. Tip number one is to combine costs. We often get a big rental car that we can also use to sleep in. This way we get better room for our luggage, we get a more comfortable ride and we also eliminate the need for expensive hotel nights. Another added benefit is that we can change our itinerary as we go and we can see where we want to go depending on the weather forecasts. And even though it can be a challenge to find a spot to park the car, it is so rewarding <laughs> when you wake up to the sunrise before the crowds. Tip number two, maximize airline miles and bonus programs. We've been able to fly a business several locations for pretty much next to nothing uh, because we've done some clever priorities. Because we mainly use credit cards and certain uh, shopping portals online, we've been able to acquire a lot of points with our uh, main airline, which is Scandinavian Airlines. This airline is a part of Star Alliance, which gives us access to destinations worldwide through partnering airlines. A flying business class is just an added bonus. If you're unable to get all the points you need, you can easily just redeem uh, economy tickets for a lot of less miles or points. How you most efficiently acquire miles depends on where you live, which credit cards you use and what airline you want to fly with. And explaining how you most efficiently get all these miles and points needs an own video for itself. So. We'll take that on all the time. Tip number three is to plan well ahead and get cheaper fares. It's possible to get cheaper fares if you plan ahead and book your tickets early. Certain days are often cheaper than others and if you have the ability to be flexible with the dates you can often save a lot there. Use services that compares numerous airlines and uh, sign up for airlines newsletter to be notified when the sales are going on. Uh, and if you have the option to travel in the low season, uh, this is definitely worth uh, thinking about because you can make huge savings both in flight tickets, in hotels, car rentals, etc. Tip number four, reach out to locals to find unique things to do. It is easier than ever to get in contact with locals through social media. We do extensive research before we travel and Instagram is a great source of finding people and places. Getting tips from uh, locals about the best experiences to see is a great way to finding uh, things to see that will uh, not attract as many tourists, which we really like. And some of the best experience we've had while traveling has come from meeting locals and letting them decide on what to do and where to go. It feels like an adventure to just let them decide where to go and it's really a joy to share the experiences with others. And we like to treat our new friends with a dinner or drinks to show them that we really appreciate the, them taking the time to show us around. And be sure to lend them a hand if they ever come to your country or places you know of, so that you can return a favor. Tip number five. Natural wonders are often very cheap. We love to explore the world and getting new impressions along the way. New food and culture is uh, really great. But we tend to be more intrigued with beautiful natures and uh, beautiful landscapes. Experiencing nature is often very cheap. Climbing a mountain or hiking a beautiful trail often costs us more energy than it does money. Certain places you need to be pre prepared. Certain places you need to be prepared to pay a national park fee, but then again, it's so worth it. Tip number six: prioritize certain activities and be sure to compare prices before you book. Even though you travel on a budget, some things are too good to skip, even though they can be expensive. And we make sure to make a list of things we know we have to do, and we do research to figure out how we can get the best value out of those activities. The previous tips may even contribute to more cash for more fun activities. Tip number seven is to save money and prioritize accordingly. This is really a no-brainer, but it's uh, important to mention. By setting aside a specific amount of money each time you get your salary, 
and be sure to put it on a separate account. You can quickly get the capital you need to start traveling. We feel that it's much easier to spend the money when it's already put aside. Tip number eight, use your travels to build up a network and a portfolio. This is essential if you want to have a sustainable way of traveling. It feels good to justify spending money on traveling by building up a network and a portfolio as you go. There's a revolution going on now and businesses worldwide are fighting for attention to tempt people to certain places. This is something you can take advantage of. And by building a portfolio and a network, you can show such companies that you can provide them with value. Tip number nine is to reach out to hotels and rental car companies. Following up on tip number eight, this is a next step to further reducing the cost of uh, traveling. And transportation and uh, accommodations is often the biggest post on any traveler's budget. Reach out to companies and propose collaboration that you both can benefit from. Work your way up and use your experience to find the best way to negotiate. This way you can go from getting one night of free accommodation in exchange for let's say some photos and maybe a social media shout out to getting paid to stay at top quality hotels. And as you start it might be frightening to ask people for such services but if you don't ask you'll never get it anyway. Tip number 10. Download offline maps with Google Maps. This has saved us so many times. Navigation is key when you're out traveling to unknown places. Strolling around in a big city or doing a massive road trip, having offline maps will keep you up to speed without the need of Wi-Fi or expensive GPS add-ons. We plan out our route before arriving and we download maps using a Google Maps download function. This is a true travel hack and we don't need to worry about uh, mobile services or having Wi-Fi. Just be sure to bring a power bank as using your phone for navigation can really drain your batteries. Tip number 11, buy local SIM cards. Continuing from the last tip, I strongly recommend buying a SIM card when you arrive at your destination. Our mobile data plan is really expensive abroad, so we really enjoyed this. The flu pen. Gotcha. The flu. Figure out which option is best to you prior to traveling, and you'll be able to get a fair deal as you arrive. They often sell this SIM card at the airport, so when you arrive you can just go to one of the representatives from the companies and they'll even help you install the SIM card in your phone. That's it for now, I hope you learned something new and uh, if you did or if you have any suggestions to things we might have missed, please reply in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more travel related content. Now get traveling and collect some more exciting memories. See ya! Let's go to the middle here.